and we are starting episode three of fuck it we're hitting the road north with a little bit of home improvement also known as mirror repair um, yesterday we did a lovely game drive here in the Namakwa National Park um, and the roads, roads were quite corrugated you know sink plot corrugation and our mirror decided to break off or nearly broke off so we've taped it together and kept it um, kept it up with um, some wire that Corinne picked up a few years ago as she was cleaning cleaning up um, and today I have to take the mirror off and see if I can repair it I really don't want to buy another one um, for the roads that we're going to travel I may have to and please remember to support us on patreon.com forward slash fearless and four wheels hit that bell icon to get notified of all new adventures so after hours of thinking and gluing um, this is the ingenious device we've come up to keep our mirror upright and the reason for that is that we have a lot of bad luck with our one side view mirror it keeps on rejecting the car and breaking off if we do um, bad what you call it corrugated. corrugated roads it's been warning us for quite some time now but it eventually broke off yesterday we've glued a tent pole well we, we've actually bent the pole um, to, uh, to, to be the same shape of the mirror and then we also inserted a small washer here for extra vibrations tomorrow um, yeah so we're gonna put it back now and hopefully it will stay intact and we can patent it if we can get it back on the bucket This is the end result. There's still a bit of tape in the back, and then this is our backup. Is you just hook this in here, and then you adjust it, and then it wouldn't hop so much once we hit the corrugated road. And then the only thing you need to remember is don't open the door for you take this. Otherwise, you will just break the whole mirror off. That's it. Again, so I better remember tomorrow morning because we're trying to wake up at six. Six. We, we hope it's to see the six thirty. Because the sun comes up at quarter past seven. No, no, I've got all under control here. Tomorrow morning, the sun will come up at seven twenty-seven. Sun will rise. And why do we want to go, go be up so early and be up at sunrise? Catch the caracal. Not catch him, I could just take a picture of him. And then see the chameleon and the small. Um, yeah, little waters. That's it. We then spent our last evening in the Makwanant National Park watching another glorious sunset. And we got ready to take on the tough sandy section of the roads of the Makwanant National Park to go and find the elusive caracal and we've got coffee made let's see if we can find that little caracal morning see they're doing the dance <laughs> okay so no sign of the caracal um sun's just coming up a few people have gotten stuck but they seem to have dug themselves out yeah, yeah, when the wipers are on while you're driving, you always know that you're in distress. <laughs> okay. So we were up, but no sign of the carrier. Yeah. Let's see how maybe we luck. Fudu handled the thick sandy roads like a champ, and without any problems, we got through. Still, no sign of the carrier. Then we moved on to the Spuk Ravine, or Spitting River Caves. These caves shows signs of the first inhabitants of southern Africa, the Nama people, and has the oldest signs of sheep farming in southern Africa. It was a great place to visit and to learn about these inhabitants. Next up on our visit to the west coast was the very sleepy town of Honeklepai, or Dog Stone Bay, where we looked for some fish and explored the town for a short while. 
We also had the pleasure of seeing the last remnants of a shipwreck, the first one we could find, the Aristea, hunkered down on the rocks in the misty weather of the west coast. We then had to do a loop inland, the furthest we've been away from the coast, to visit the small town of Koingnas, a sleepy mining town now, it used to be a bustling metropolis of a thousand people until the diamonds started trickling out and the beers started to leave um, I, got my I got my suspicions when I noticed that the Christmas lights are still up and it is May There's a mini market a liquor store obviously and two restaurants and we decided to take a walk to go and visit what's it called again the restaurant the, the plain oakies the small fellow i think but we'll find out um the exact name because the spelling is different so what did you discover when you went jogging today sweetie oh um a lot of wildlife um, two springbok one little jackal, mongoose, yeah, that's it. Lost Catalan, yeah. looking for Tara. <laughs> yeah, um, we've, we've heard rumors there's a Tara going up to Clancy here, and yeah. that's making me nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm eager on the Tara. I'm not um, eager oh, on the Tara. Good for the murder. <laughs> I put the murder my face up on the fuck up. Okay, so so um, there's mine dumps all around the town. The town's very green for this arid landscape. We've had questions about where do they get their water. We think it's all um, pumps, and there's a there's a sp spot where you can go and fetch fresh drinking water. Talking about green, look at the nice garden. Karin, tell us what you want. A bokom. A what? A bokom. The West Coast is getting to her. She wants a bokom. Oh, yummy. Do you want half? Yeah. How does it taste with a gin and tonic? So while camping at the Blue Horizons campsite in Koyanas, we had the pleasure of visiting Um Jock's Jack's Museum, a museum full of old mining implements. Um Jock used to work at the mines. We could also see the similarities between the mining jacks and the high lift jack. The high lift jack is still something being used today in off-roading and we carry one with and we'll see if we will need it on this trip. Then we left the town of Koenas behind and hit that straight tar road up towards Clancia. And here we end this episode. Please remember to come back next time to see how we dig ourselves into a nice big hole and how we struggle to get out of it. If you would like to get reminders, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified so you'll know what happens next time.